What's up, tennis peeps? Thanks so much for tuning in. If it's not your first time here and you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It's the best way to support this channel. And if it is your first time here and you end up liking the video, please like the video. In this video, I'm gonna show you something all top pros do, but Rafael Nadal does particularly well to crush top spin forehands and backhands. You've probably heard about this key position before on the ground strokes, this low and closed position. Maybe you've heard it called pat the doggy on the head. Is it really something that you know Nadal does on almost every shot he hits? Pretty much. So basically what I'm gonna do in this video is just break it down into a little more detail. I'm gonna show you why you have to do it and we're gonna talk about some things to watch out for when you are trying to do it. Now the question is, is it something that even has to be learned? Is it natural to wanna to close your racket face? And the answer is absolutely not. Almost every newer player to tennis I have and even players that have been playing it for a while do not let their racket drop with the racket face closed. Everyone is always too open and always too high on the ball. It's just our natural tendency to want to determine the upward trajectory of the ball through the angle of the racket face rather than friction. The reason the racket face needs to eventually end up in a low and closed position is simple. The arm works on a radius, so in order to create a proper racket face at contact, which is nearly vertical, your racket face needs to be hooded here. What this allows you to do is recruit very little muscle in your arm and a lot of muscle in your core to throw the arm out very fast and create that proper racket face at contact. Now, how much of this position you get certainly depends on the ball, and there are certainly pros who don't do very much of it, but I would still argue that the vast majority of top players get at least a little bit of hood and are at least below impact doing this when they hit. Now, since most even high-level recreational players are always way too open and way too high on the ball, it would serve us to try to exaggerate and go like Nadal and get way low and close beneath the ball. I very rarely see people do this too much. So for us, it would be a great drill to try to exercise that. Now, I would certainly challenge you to go out, set up your phone and film yourself hitting forehands and backhand ground strokes. And you very well might not be doing this as much as you think you are. I have people all the time that swear that their racket's low and close, but when it's not in your vision, you don't have very good feel of it, and that racket's still too high and too open on the ball. So the easiest way to work this is to simply start in this key position. You want to have your racket low and close, start down. You can drop a ball in front of you and just practice lifting your shoulder straight out to the ball and getting that low and closed free feeling of being able to hit the ball. Oftentimes people start hitting much cleaner topspin when they do this. Now this key position, the low and close position, is even more important than the unit turn. So if you only did one, you'd want to go low and close but ideally you do both. We still want to see you prepare with that racket high and then drop down in the low and close position. So with this drill, for example, you don't want to go out and try to hit it really hard. What happens is you end up bringing your racket back up for momentum and to get more power and you end up getting power with a big backswing. When you take it back high, the fall is going to add some speed to your shot. So it's important to remember that the low and close position or the pat the doggy on the head position is fluid. It often can't even be seen when pros hit the ball because they get through it so fast. And the problem with starting down there too much is that it can actually build hitches in your stroke. So remember, when you're starting low and closed, don't do too much of that and just do it until you get the feeling of the top spin. And then you wanna go back to starting with your racket high and then just breeze through the low and closed position. That way you'll be hitting great top and you'll get extra power, which you'll need and be able to use now from the fall of the racket. So I highly recommend you get out on the court, get a camera on, and really see if you're doing this position enough and consistently to be able to hit big top spin ground strokes just like Rafael Nadal. So get out there and don't forget to pat the chihuahua on the head. Don't rub the Great Dane on the chin.